Remember a few months ago when I warned you about what was going to happen to the jail out once the winter arrives? I believe I said it was going to be a real shitstorm. Well, it's fucking February, so the fucking shitstorm is finally upon us. And just when you thought things couldn't possibly get any shittier, the organization I work for and the city of Chicago have collided together and turned the shitstorm known as the J Lot into a fucking shit tornado. We were all laughing back then, but we're not laughing now. Let's go take a look. I think I'm gonna need something much stronger than this. Now it's been a few months since my last video, and when I originally filmed it, it was back in October when we were first sent to this piece of shit parking lot. This is what it looked like back then, and this is what it looks like right now. So basically, it went from a steaming pile of dog shit to a maggot infested pile of horse diarrhea on a hot summer day in Texas! Now in my last video, I also said that there were more potholes here than the entire city of Chicago. But look at this fucking shit! Now there's more craters here than on a goddamn moon. Shit, even Neil Armstrong would have a difficult time trying to navigate himself to this fucking place. It's unfucking believable Yeah, that's one small step for man, but one giant leap backwards for O'Hare. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Even when I tried driving really slow to avoid damaging my car or getting fucking whiplash, I still am bouncing all over the fucking place. Motherfucker! This has got to be the most frustrating driving experience I have ever had in my entire life. I've tried every conceivable route to avoid hitting the fucking potholes, but it's impossible. You go to the right, you hit a pothole. You go to the left, you hit another fucking pothole. And every day they continue to get bigger and bigger. Look at this fucking shit. You know what else sucks? Not too long ago, they installed this small shelter that has heat lamps on the ceiling. But during a Chicago polar vortex, they don't do jack fucking shit. They might as well just be fucking lights. And guess what? A few weeks after being installed, someone removed the knob from the control panel. What kind of sadistic asshole would do something like that? Now most of you would just ask why I just don't sit in my car until the bus arrives. Well guess what? You can't. If you're not at the bus stop the second it pulls up, that bastard bus driver will drive off without you and you'll be stuck there for another 15 minutes freezing your fucking balls off. You know what that is? That's fucking horse shit! The other day, I left my cell phone in the car and when I went back to retrieve it, the bus pulled up for a second and then drove off even though I was on my way back to it. That son of a bitch bus driver looked right at me and drove away. What a cruel punishment for making such a simple mistake. This is why unions were invented. We've been at this airport for 14 fucking years and we still can't get a goddamn parking lot right. This is unacceptable. Now imagine this. It's Super Bowl Sunday. You get off work early so you can go home and watch the game. You figure, you know, even with this blizzard, you still might be able to make the halftime show, right? Wrong. When you get to the fucking J-Lot, your car's buried under two feet of fucking snow because the city did absolutely nothing to prepare for this fucking blizzard. That's right. You end up missing the entire fucking game. You've waited an entire year to see this event, and you miss it because Rahm Emanuel was too busy jacking himself off in the fucking mirror instead of preparing for the fucking snowfall at the airport, let alone the entire fucking city! Yeah, you waited all right. But it was like waiting for a buffalo to take a shit all over your fucking face. Now shortly after the blizzard took place on Super Bowl Sunday, the fucking city finally gave in and now they're letting us use the goddamn G-Lot. Now, wouldn't it have been much easier for them to let us use it before the blizzard took place? I mean, everyone knew it was coming, right? And besides, no one else is using the fucking G-Lot. It's just fucking common sense. Oh. But then again, with the organization I work for, and the city of Chicago, common sense just doesn't exist. They didn't do a goddamn thing until everyone's car was buried under two feet of fucking snow. I have another update. I've been informed by many of my coworkers that we will be losing the J-Lot at the end of March in favor of the go-kart system. Now with the go-kart, I'll be able to use that to pay for any of the other parking lots located around the airport. 
Well, that's just fucking great. So not only do I not have a designated place to park every day, but I may have to drive to five different other places just to look for a fucking spot. And on top of that, I still may have to pay out of pocket. What the fuck were they thinking when they came up with this fucking bullshit? You know what? They weren't fucking thinking. You know, all I want is to be able to have a decent place to park so I can do my fucking job. It's not asking for much, is it? I mean, other airport employees don't have to deal with this shit, so why do we? Give me a good reason why we can't have a decent place to park. Why can't we have a decent place to park? Why can't we have a decent place to park? Ah! Lay down, Elliot. Lay down. Good dog.